all right hero wars what's the deal if you're using a mobile app you're very much likely going to have ads push on you one way or another but some of these ads are pretty misleading in this video we're going to compare the ads of hero wars to the actual gameplay my name is Teeds and I'll be making many of these game vs ad comparisons. To save you from downloading misleading apps, please do subscribe and click the bell for more mobile game content. Okay, let's begin. Let's have a look at the ads for Hero Wars. In the first clip, we can already see that this is somewhat of a puzzle. From here, we have to find a way to get to the loot of gold, a weapon, and an armor piece. You can see that he has no clothes on or gear, so we can assume that from this ad, we have to try and find a way to get the rewards for better gear. In the second clip, we now have armor, and there's also an enemy that can kill us. From this ad, we have to find a way to kill the enemy. There is also a card here to use as an attachment. This makes me believe that we will be given various options to find the correct tools to use in each puzzle and figure out the best place to put it. You can see that he has armor, but he doesn't have a weapon and it seems like a weapon is also what we're trying to get. The player for the ad also puts it in the wrong place, resulting in the hero dying. If the player placed it here instead, we would have had an ideal result. This makes us want to download it so we can actually do it right. If you don't know, doing things purposely wrong gives us more of an initiative to download the game. In the third clip, we have to save the princess. Now the game is giving us a goal. So why are we trying to solve the puzzles for better gear and more loot? Well, the princess is our reason. From these three clips, we can assume that the game is interactive, puzzle orientated. Our goal is to find better gear, farm gold and save the princess. But from the name Hero Wars, it sounds like a war focused game, which does not relate to the ads from what we can see. Taking all of this in account, let's see how the real game is. I want to add that there are real genuine communities and fans for the real games. My intention here is to compare, but not criticize the game itself. The game has over 10 million downloads and a rating of 4.3 out of 5. So the rating itself is pretty high and it also seems to be popular. After playing the game for an hour, overall I'm rather disappointed. This is the actual gameplay of Hero Wars and pretty much the focus. If any of you have played Idle Heroes, it's pretty much the exact same. I played mostly the campaign mode. There are three waves of enemies you have to defeat with the heroes you have collected in each level. But let's compare the points we have made from the ads. When you first begin in Hero Wars, we are greeted by a girl. The exact girl from the ads. So I assumed that she was the princess. Her name is Aurora, apparently not a princess, but she does need saving. I also think they're dating because he called her his beloved Aurora. Anyway, I believe this game has 13 chapters to complete, but we actually ended up saving the so-called princess in the first chapter within 10 minutes of me playing. The goal of saving the princess was quickly demolished. I think the whole goal of the game is to defeat an archdemon and his evil army. There are also PvP battles that you can do against other real players, and you pretty much are just focusing on collecting better heroes and bettering them. So in regards to finding better loot and gear, it's there, just not in the way we wanted from the ads. However, a huge plot twist that shed a lot of hope for me. In the first 10 minutes of playing, I actually was able to click something called bonus after completing a level. Uphold and behold, we actually got a puzzle, just like in the ads. I was excited, but I only got this once within an hour of playing. So I'm not sure if this is a way to grab the attention of people who downloaded Hero Wars because of the ad or if it's actually implemented into the game. Only once in that hour was not enough for me, especially because I was only interested in this game due to the misleading ads. If you're someone who actually plays Hero Wars, please let us all know if this is a common thing or if it's pretty rare as I am curious. Even so, I still don't want to play the game if the main focus of it is not the puzzles like in the ads. I honestly had the most fun in the game in just those few seconds. If the game was honestly always like that, I think I would spend so much time on this game. In conclusion, Hero Wars is definitely not like the ads. The fake princess was actually a hero that we can unlock and play and she was saved within 10 minutes of playing. There was a puzzle, but I'm still not sure if this was a bait or if it's actually a common occurrence as I only got one in the hour. Despite all those, should you still download the game and play it? 
If you're into idle light games, then this game is actually pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of idle games. I did spend like maybe two weeks on idle heroes, but I ended up uninstalling it because at the end it felt a bit too grindy and very slow. I enjoy more immersive games that keep you present and that are more interactive. The graphics of Hero Wars is fantastic and it does feel really smooth. The characters all look very cute and detailed. I actually like the character design in Hero Wars better than Idol Heroes and I do apologize if I'm comparing them too much but Idol Heroes is the only other idol game that I've played. When fighting enemies, you have the option to opt into auto mode or manual mode. There are two bars under the hero's icons as one indicates the health and the other one indicates, um, I'm not sure what to call it, but maybe it's rage. When the yellow bar is full, you have the option to use their special ability. If you opt into auto mode, the heroes will automatically use their special ability when it's full. Otherwise, in manual mode, you can use it yourself at times you feel that you need to. Unfortunately, as far as I'm aware, there is no option to speed through the battles. So you have to sit there and watch all the battles, at least in the campaign mode. Otherwise, as it is in idle games, you can just start a battle and leave it on the table or wherever while you're doing other things. The Hero Wars app store states the top 5 reasons to download Hero Wars. So I'm just going to give them a little read here because it was actually pretty funny. But their top 5 reasons are to play is number one, battle enemies with dozens of heroes, unlock skills and power up your hero. Number two, fight epic multiplayer PvP arena battles and the ultimate RPG fantasy game. Number three, unlock skills and battle enemies and other enemies army in arena and grand arena. Number four, dominate the RPG hero fantasy adventure game, train and share skills with multiplayer army guilds. Number 5, fight battles in the PvP arena against enemies, characters and bosses for power, rewards or rare items. Okay, so literally three of those reasons are somewhat the same which gave me a good laugh when I first read them. I was thinking that Hero Wars would give us five different reasons to download them but instead they have given us somewhat or similar reasons to download the game. I have also read some of the reviews as well to find some cons from players who have played a lot longer than I have. One user states that it takes forever to level up your characters and eventually you'll have to purchase gems which cost real money. Another user states that it's a huge cash grab. Another user said he actually got two puzzles in the first two hours of playing but he does not enjoy the gameplay. From that review, we can say that there are actually more puzzles, but it seems that it's really rare for them to come up, which is not honestly worth it in my opinion if you're spending hours just to get one puzzle. A lot of the bad reviews are just talking about how the ads are just misleading, and they are rather misleading. <laughs> You've seen it. And if there are any mobile developers out there watching this, please make a game like those ads. There are actually so many other games that are using ads like that, <laughs> Gardenscapes. And it actually would be so cool to have a game that's just like those ads. Apparently, you can also play this game on Facebook, so even if you're not a mobile user, you could play it there if you wanted to. All in all, I wouldn't personally play it. As I said earlier, I'm not a fan of idle games, but for an idle game, I think it's pretty decent. With all idle games so far though, you have to invest money in it eventually unless you're in it for the long grind. And as some of us are purely free to play players, these types of games may not be a long term enjoyment for us. So while Hero Wars is definitely not like the ads, they did somehow implement the puzzle into the game even though it's super rare so it does give them grounds to actually use that in the ads even though it's not the main focus. Even in the app store, the thumbnail of the ad is the puzzle, but if you actually watch the ad, it actually shows the real gameplay. I don't think they should bait people like that, I think it's really scummy to do, but I do think it works for them because a lot of people did download the game and there are some reviews where they say that they downloaded it initially because of the bait, but they stayed because they enjoyed the game. Can't relate, but yeah. Anyway, that is all for today's video. I thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe and click the bell for more mobile vs ad comparisons. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and any likes would be super rad. I hope to see you again for the next one. 
Bye.